Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, an adaptation of Elmore Leonard's novel Rum Punch, introduces us to a cast of colourful characters that are reimagined within the director's unique style. Among them is Melanie Ralston, a character whose seemingly peripheral role belies her significance to both the plot and themes of the story. In both the film and the book, Melanie plays a pivotal role in the downfall of the villain, Ordell Robbie. However, the ways in which her character is portrayed in each medium are distinct, with Tarantino's film emphasising her manipulation and agency, adding a layer of complexity to her relationship with other characters. In Leonard's Rum Punch, Melanie is a secondary character playing the part of a bored, stoned and somewhat aimless young woman. She lives with Odell, serving primarily as his trophy girlfriend, with her greatest contribution to the plot being her eventual betrayal of him. In Rum Punch, Melanie is depicted with a stereotypical detachment, lazy, uninterested in much beyond her immediate pleasures. She represents a classic femme fatale archetype in some ways, but lacks the depth to make her anything more than a plot device. Ordell's treatment of her is largely dismissive, and while her actions contribute to his undoing, she lacks much agency or active presence in the overall narrative. In the novel, her role is ultimately to sow some discord among the characters, particularly Louis Gara, with whom she has a brief romantic encounter. Her death at Louis's hands is more a reflection of Louis's deteriorating state of mind than any intentional build-up of tension or complexity on her part. Leonard uses Melanie as a foil for more central characters like Jackie Burke, renamed Jackie Brown for Tarantino's film, but her impact on the story, while significant, is one-dimensional. Tarantino's adaptation of Melanie in Jackie Brown presents a character who is similar on the surface but adds layers of subtle manipulation, tension and unpredictability. Melanie is still the stoner girlfriend, lounging around in a bikini and flip-flops, perpetually high and seemingly disinterested in much beyond her own amusement. However, Tarantino gives her moments of sharp wit and agency, allowing her to subtly manipulate Lewis and push him to make critical mistakes. One of the key differences in Jackie Brown is how Melanie's character is used to represent a generational and gendered conflict. Her interactions with Odell are more fraught with tension. She mocks and undermines him in ways that suggest she is fully aware of his vulnerabilities. When Odell chastises her for not following orders, she responds with indifference, understanding her value in his life lies in the freedom she represents, which he cannot fully control. This dynamic makes Melanie a symbol of Odell's hubris. His belief that he can control and dominate others ultimately leads to his downfall, and Melanie plays a key role in exposing this flaw. In both the novel and the film, the relationship between Melanie and Lewis is crucial, but Tarantino elevates it by adding more tension and dark humour. Melanie's seduction of Lewis feels less like a genuine romantic connection and more like a power play. She uses him to escape her boredom and subtly challenges his authority. Their scenes together build an uneasy tension, particularly in the mall, where her constant mocking and belittling of Lewis culminate in her death. In the novel Rum Punch, her murder feels almost incidental, but in Jackie Brown, it's framed as a tragicomic moment where Lewis's frustration boils over. Tarantino allows us to see that Lewis is on edge, out of his element, and Melanie's death is his desperate attempt to assert control in a situation where he feels increasingly powerless. Melanie's role in pushing Lewis to this breaking point is crucial in both texts, but Tarantino gives her more influence over the outcome, framing her as a more active participant in the chaotic unravelling of Ordell's plan. Melanie Ralston in Jackie Brown serves as a reflection of the broader themes of power, control and betrayal that are central to the film. In many ways, she represents a challenge to Ordell's dominance over the people in his life. Unlike Jackie, who actively schemes to outwit Ordell and take control of her situation, Melanie's rebellion is passive-aggressive, grounded in indifference and nihilism. Her refusal to be controlled directly mirrors the way in which Jackie refuses to be dominated by her circumstances, though they approach their defiance in vastly different ways. The contrast between Jackie Brown and Melanie Ralston is also notable in how Tarantino constructs women's roles in the film. 
Jackie's calculated intelligence stands in sharp contrast to Melanie's more hedonistic and chaotic approach to life, yet both women, in their respective ways, contribute to Ordell's downfall. Melanie's casual, almost dismissive betrayal of Ordell through her manipulation of Lewis acts as a foil to Jackie's more methodical approach. Both women illustrate the idea that Ordell's downfall is the result of his inability to truly understand or control the women in his life. So what we've seen in this visual essay is, while Melanie Ralston may appear to be a secondary character, her role in both Rum Punch and Jackie Brown is crucial to the unfolding of events, particularly the downfall of Ordell Robbie. In Rum Punch, she is more of a plot device, serving as a pawn in a larger narrative, but Tarantino's reimagining of her in Jackie Brown adds layers of subtlety, making her a more active participant in the story's themes of power, manipulation and control. Melanie's indifference, nihilism and ability to push Lewis over the edge are key to understanding the dynamics of the film's world, where control is constantly slipping from the grasp of those who think they hold it. In this way, Melanie becomes a far more integral and interesting character in the film than in Leonard's original novel. Oh.